So who's ready to play some gospel bass, which happens to be what I grew up playing. Okay, so we're going to be breaking it down. I actually did quite a few licks in that clip, but we're going to be breaking one of them down uh, and try to make it as simple and as easy as possible. Okay, so let's get right to it. For this specific piece, I'm playing in the key of A flat. This is a common progression that you would hear in a lot of contemporary gospel music nowadays. Um, it's just a drive at the end of the song. The song is actually Arise by William... Hold on, I don't want to get the name wrong. Ah, uh, okay. William Murphy. Arise by William Murphy is a gospel artist, a uh, great gospel artist, a lot of great songs that just happened to be uh, in that playlist that I was listening to a while ago. So I wanted to play to that. Okay, so I sped it up a little bit and I just kind of repeated the ending, but I'm in the key of A flat. So I'm going to break down one of those licks for you guys. Okay, so here's a lick that I want to break down. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit so you guys can hear me clearly. I'm in the key of A flat. Remember that going from the C to the E flat. So three, four, sharp four, flat five to the five, then walking up again to the E and then the F. Okay, I'll show you in context. Two, three, seven, E, F. Same thing. Okay, so here's the lick. I want to play the lick in context. It's actually going to be a diminished lick. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Here it is. Okay, so it goes by pretty quick. Let me stop this one second goes by pretty quick. It's a diminished lick. It starts on the E. Okay, so when you play that E on the da, 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 three, four, sharp, four, five, <laughs> da, it starts right there, right on that note. So one, two, three. Da, 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 da. Here it is. Da, 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 da. Whatever that run was, I can't sing it. <laughs> but, da, 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 da. <laughs> It's actually pretty tricky to get. You want to slow this down as much as you possibly can. Okay, so diminished arpeggio. Do, 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 da, 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 da. Just going up, literally just repeating that same sequence. Minor third, uh, minor third, minor third, minor third, minor third. So from E to G, and then the same string down. We're going to go to B flat. Okay, D flat, E, D, and it's repeating the same thing over, over and over again. Until you get to that D flat. Okay, and then I'm ending on the, on the C. So I'm actually ending on the C on that last chord on the da 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 da. So I'm ending on the fifth of that last progression or that last chord that we play. So okay, so that's a weird ending, but it actually lands and it fits good. I mean, I just came up with this exercise. No, well, it wasn't exercise. It kind of transformed into a lick, but that's how most of my uh, exercises end up evolving into licks or into riffs uh, just as an exercise. So the arpeggio exercise is diminished. If you can catch it, that'll be great. Two, three. One, two, three. So it starts on the downbeat of three. I'm coming in just a little bit earlier than that actual chord comes in. Okay, so you want to watch it. So let's play it again. Two, one, 
So, for my four string guys out there, you can still hit this lick. You can play the open E. I'm playing, if you see here, I'm playing the E on the B string. Sorry, got carried away. So, I'm playing the E on the B string. You can still play the E, just an open E on a four string, okay? So you can convert this. It doesn't, you don't have to be stuck or tied down to playing a five, or oh, I don't have a five string, so what? I can play the same thing on a four string. I just wanted to show you guys. When I play a lot of gospel stuff, I usually play a lot of, uh, I usually play my five strings here. So here, five string here. I know you guys don't really see me play it that much, but usually when I'm playing something live, um, especially if it's gospel, I'll play a five string. I don't tune down or anything like that, but five string just feels a little bit better to me. I play five string for years and years and years, but I love playing four string too on um, a lot of my other gigs. Uh, you'll see me playing this bass here. Um, I, I could play any of those gigs on this bass, uh, but I just want to switch it up from time to time. So my five strings, I usually be I usually play out. So that's why you don't see it that much in the lessons if you're not if you're old here if you're not new here <laughs> and if you've been watching for some time but anyway that's besides the point i start going off on a rant but you can play the same thing on a four string du -du 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 -du. let me show you two sides two 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 sides two 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 one two well that defeats the purpose i play it on the five string on the fifth string. <laughs> All right, so let's play it again. One, two, three. I'm playing it as if I'm playing a four string. One, two, three. Here's a lick. And if it's tough for you to get that lick, one, two, da 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 Okay. Uh, to play those quick notes, you want to slow it down as much as you possibly can. If you can't get it at first, always make that into an exercise. Anything that's tough for you or hard for you to get, always make it into an exercise. You can go ahead and play that. Ah, see? So I'm playing the E open, the G with my third finger, first finger, B flat. Da, 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 da. So fingering. Um, let's stop this. Open E, third finger, G, B flat, D sharp or D flat for uh on the A string, fourth finger, E, G, fourth finger, first finger, fourth finger. First finger again, fourth finger again, and then third finger ends on that C. Right? Okay. Um, so we can play that on a four string, you can play it on a five string, you can change the key, you can not change the key, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be breaking down a few more of these licks for you guys. Uh, I did some pretty crazy ones. I'm gonna go watch it back to see exactly what I did because sometimes I don't remember what I did and I just go off of a feeling of what I've done. Um, I haven't talked about a lot of gospel based stuff a lot uh, and that was on purpose but get ready for a lot more of the gospel base especially learning from a gospel player it's actually a pretty cool lick I want to see you guys tackle this and get ready for more gospel base coming your way I'll see you guys in the next one peace